my name is Dawn. Welcome to Fix It Fridays, where we do all sorts of different mending and fixing projects. Today I am coming to you from Treaty 6 land and traditional homeland of the Métis. For a mending project today, I was thinking about mending that I have to do and I did some googling and I came across a project to fix the inner thighs of jeans and I'm not sure about you but we had a bit of a stack of jeans in my house that no one could bear to throw out because they were their favorite jeans but they've worn out in the inner thighs so you also feel a little uncomfortable wearing them just in case everything splits open. So I found a fix. And I didn't invent this fix, but I'd like to show it to you today. And if after this video you still feel like you need more resources, there are a few other videos out there that uh, demonstrate this particular mending project. So, I've mended all of my jeans. So all we have are a pair of my daughters today. And she'll be really happy to get these back. But do you see what happens on the inner thigh? It wears out almost to the point of uh, the fabric splitting. And also with hers, because there's a stretch added to jeans these days, there's a little bit of, of rippling, I'm not sure if you can really see that along here, where some of that elastic has kind of let go. So we'll also fix that part today with the same style of mending. To do this project, you'll need a bit of scrap fabric. I happen to have a little bit of stretchy jean fabric from an old project or if you have another pair of jeans that's really extensively ripped that can't be repaired or mended, um, then you could just cut a little piece of that off to be the backing for your mending today. We do need something to go on the inside of the jeans so that when we sew through the exterior, it gives it a little bit more support. You can also use a fusible interfacing. Now, interfacing is something that's usually very low cost that you can find at your fabric store. Um, and the fusible stuff is great because when you iron it on, it actually stays put where you want it to. And then you can sew without having to worry about it shifting. Whereas my patch, I'll have to pin in today. Um, but fusible interfacing would just give it that structure that it needs to give it a bit more support from the interior after our stitching is done. I was at my local fabric store because I ran out of thread for this project and previous to this I had just been using a navy that matched the color of the denim. Um, but I found there's actually jean thread um, and I'll do a little close up of that up here. Um, and it's a little bit variegated so it actually matches the color of the jean really really well. And since we're doing a top stitching project you will see those stitches but they'll blend in and you won't even notice them. Um, but you could just use a solid color thread as well. The navy works really, really well on the jeans that I've already patched. Some of you may not have access to a sewing machine, so I will demonstrate how to do this project by hand. It may just take you a little longer. There are also access to sewing machines through the Library of Things, which runs out of the better good on Broadway. Now the Library of Things has sewing machines as well as many other things available and to access those you need to apply online and then show ID and you can do that any Saturday of the month. But the library is only open for borrowing on the first and third Saturdays. So if you'd like something from the Library of Things you can put a hold on it as well and then when it arrives you have your sewing machine waiting for you. Okay. My patch is all pinned inside. And what I decided to do was go right over top of that seam. So I'm catching everything along one leg. So I'm catching the elastic that let go on this side and I'll catch the thinned out part on this side. So I'm ready to flip this leg back right side out and we'll sew from the outside of the jean. So this is what it looks like from the outside. You can see the little pin marks on the outside. So that tells me where I have that extra stability. So I'll sew onto those areas today. Now what we're going to do is use a straight stitch. And on your sewing machine, it'll be the one that's just straight little lines down. It doesn't matter what you use for a stitch length. You can use a longer one or a shorter one. I'm going with number two on my sewing machine today just because it's a little smaller and I feel like it'll be a little stronger. And what we're going to do is essentially make a lattice. So we're going to reweave that fabric in effect. So we're going to do a whole bunch of lines 
stitching lines right beside each other vertically all the way across that patch and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do lines horizontally all the way across that patch. So they crisscross each other and add a little bit more stability and essentially we're just reweaving that fabric. I'm going to do my stitches fairly close together today. You could leave them a little farther apart or you could do them even closer together than I am. I have the ability on my sewing machine to remove this drawer and what that allows me to do is have a narrower space to feed the jean leg onto which is super helpful when doing fixes like this. While I'm doing this boring back and forth part, Natasha and Crispy will pop in virtually to entertain you for a bit. If you're looking for more books on mending or fashion, there's actually a few different areas you can look in the library. They'd all be in the nonfiction section, but if you look at the call numbers on the end, you'll see there's a variety of different numbers on the end because the books are sorted by categories. When it comes to fashion, this is a bit tricky. Some might be in 391 for the history of fashion, and then some might be in the area 746 or 643. And these both cover um, topics like crocheting, knitting, mending, sewing, and home repair. So if you wanna read anything more about that and browse at your local, at your local library in the nonfiction section, you just need to look in the areas 391, 746, or 643 in the nonfiction section. Happy hunting. All right, I finished the first round and I will bring it in nice and close so you can take a look. So you see on this side, I have stitches running this way and on this side, I also have stitches running this way. So now what I'm going to do is come in again and stitch this way. Now, I was pulling pins out as I was stitching. As I kind of passed areas, I'd pull pins out. What happens is the pins, because you're moving the fabric around, pop out sometimes, and so I had a little pile of pins under my sewing machine. That's fine. Um, what I wanna do, though, before I start doing the opposite direction, is I wanna cut the excess fabric out of the back. If you were using fusible interfacing, you wouldn't have to do that because that's adhered to the fabric. Um, but I don't want this to bend and fold and uh, be sewn in all kind of crinkly. So I'm going to trim the excess of this patch off and then I'm going to start sewing in the other direction. Did you know modern jeans were invented in 1873 when Bavarian immigrant Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis patented the process for using copper rivets to strengthen the seams of the jeans. That's what those are there for, to strengthen the jeans. Now there's no rivets where we're mending today, but you could learn more about the history of jeans at the library. I learned some in this book. Items, is fashion modern? Clothes have history, who knew? Libraries did, that's who. We are now half done this project. And as I promised, I will show you how to do it with a needle and thread. Um, this, I'm not sure why I do this, but when I thread a needle, I always pull both ends so they're the same length and tie a knot at the end. That's just how I sew. So I always end up sewing with double thread. You may do it a different way. Feel free to do it whatever way works best for you. Um, but this allows me to do something which is easy. And that is to just make one tiny little stitch and make sure you catch the backing. And then I can pull my needle through those two threads and it holds it nice and sturdy. So that's how I do it. You may have a better method. Feel free to comment with better methods. Um, but after this point, you're just gonna weave your needle in and out of the jean. You can make bigger or smaller stitches, whatever works best for you. I will just do one little bit here and then I'll show you close up. I just have the, the needle stuck into the fabric you can see there. And you would just continue on working vertically and then horizontally. But I'm going back to using my sewing machine. Be very careful not to catch any of the rest of the jean in your mending project. The worst thing would be to get done this awesome mending patch project and realize that you would cut the other side of the leg in your mend. And that's the 
the end of our mending project. These are all fixed and they're ready to be worn again. I'll show you a little closer what they look like in the end. I actually think I prefer the navy plain thread to the jean thread, but do what works best for your pair of jeans. And good luck with all your mending projects, everyone. Have a great weekend.